Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, you will be learning this amazing process of creation inside of 3ds Max by using forest packs and a lot of more other details. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So guys, if you are new in this channel, then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share because so many guys are not subscribing after watching my video. And also, this video license is completely provided by Forest Pack because they provided us this Forest Pack version license. Now, let's jump into 3ds Max and I will show you some amazing stops and techniques. So let's jump. So guys, right now we are in 3ds Max version 2021 and this model is I already imported before starting this video and also I did some other changes. So let me show you that first. So first of all, if you notice, I have divided this cup in two pieces like this is the outer surface of the cup and this is the inner surface of this cup because whatever will apply the forest pack effect that will be applied on this area, not the inside one. Okay, so let's place control Z. And now for the photo, as you can see right now, we have a special water and also a boat here. So first of all, you have to create the water surface so I already have created a plane here so let's turn on the plane first this is a plane which I have already done press F4 to see all the vertices so I have increased the vertices length segments and width segment to 100 by 100 because it's very dense otherwise the water surface will not come properly now as you notice this water is right now in square so we have to cut out in a round shape so I already have one cup cut mode this uh, like cylinder here so just import the cylinder here simply like this and we have have to cut out by using the boolean effect so let me show you that first so select this plane here go to this from v-ray to take the compound object and from here take this boolean and after that we can use this add one select this cylinder here and after that simply intersect now we have cut out only this much area that's it and then right click convert into editable poly yes done after that we have to apply a displacement map here because whatever water surface will create that will become from the displacement map so just select this displacement v-ray displacement modifier from here just click here and it will automatically applied on the plane surface now the talking about the texture you have to apply a texture so go to this no map and from go down bitmap double click here so this is our displacement map texture just select this one now i already have created a water material here you can see it now this is the reflection is full the refraction is full and i increase the fog color a little bit to make it a little bit of greenery now go down here go to maps and you will be find a displace option is exactly visible now select this texture and drag and drop into this displacement one and make it okay that's it done now when you click here you can exactly control the displacement from here as well now when you double click here you can exactly see the water surface is right now making so cool now let me show you after rendering how it will look like the waters are now you have to apply this material on this one so just click this one and select drag and drop it to here so right now the water surface is exactly applied with this material now let me show you how the exact output will look like when you apply the water material so just turn on my video light from here this is a dome light i applied the hdri on here and from go to the settings panel i am using the v-ray gpu one and from here just start this ipr when you click the ipr you can exactly see this is the water surface which will look like something this and now let me show you from the closer value something like that now you have to change some several settings to make it a little bit more realistic go to this material go back here and here you can find this fog multiplier and fog bias just increase the bias a little bit so that you can see the water surface are getting changing and we have to increase the fog multiplier as well so whenever you increase the fog multiplier the fog intensity will be increasing very much okay so now this is enough for this and you can increase this one as well to make it more darker see right now it's getting so dark but if you notice the displacement maps are looking so realistic if you notice in closer see the water surface is look so realistic just make it closer value something like that okay so this is a proper creation of water inside of 3ds max by using displacement map okay so now talking about the next part which is our very own forest pack part so just make it stop here just stop the rendering part and go down now you have to apply the forest pack here so first of all select the outer surface of this this is the outer surface as i told before this tutorial now go here from compound objects let's go to this it to software from here you can find this forest pack pro 
just click this one and then the library option will pop up here just select this one and where you can find these many options here like gravels like lanes and leaves and many more things and i'm choosing this one because i pretty love these options here so just select this one with more detailed one and press import selected and then click on the surface press ok and press ok from here something like that now after applying that you can see this is a very big chunk you will see this is a very big here so you have to scale down a little bit not a little bit very much we have to scale it down so just first of all go here to the global scale let's make it to 20 percent and let's also make it to 10 percent is a very good number and you can see this is a very big chunk here and i have to go to the surfaces option and from here let's change it from xy to uv and now go back here now we have this distributions options and from here the units are here just decrease the units to let's take around 20 and you can see this is a very much thick and also this is pretty heavy now go back to the global scale and i'm decreasing the global scale to let's take around one so now you can see everything is now scaled down and also fit on this ground here okay so that's it now you have to play with all the settings here you can find this distributions option are right now in full you can change it to patches or you can change it to any other like patches too so that there are multiple options here to match all the stuffs here let's change it to dense or let's change it to full as well okay the full is very good enough for this so let's make the positions here something like that and let's see how the renders are exactly looking after applying that so just press this one to check the renders are how it really look like okay guys so now you can see that renders are looking so realistic but we don't have any ground plane here so just turn on our ground plane just turn it on and now you can see the ground planes are right now visible and it's looking so amazing isn't it so just comment down below about your thought that how you look like the forest pack after applying this i hope you guys will love this a lot and now after that you can change the lighting setups and all just select this dome light i'm just increasing the multiplier to let's take around two to increase the light intensity now you can see these are multiple lights are here and this is a very amazing looks like this okay so after that we have to turn on our boat one i already have imported a boat just turn this on so that the boat is turned on here now let's make some camera settings here so just make the camera positions something here that's it and also press ctrl c to turn on a camera okay so that's it the camera is done and just make it to full screen to see how exactly will we look like so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short and simple tutorial from forest pack and if yes then don't forget to like comment and share and also follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world